Right now at 530, the attorney for a former cop accused of excessive force is demanding the entire cell phone video be played in court. He lost his badge after his superior saw him put a knee on a woman's neck while arresting her. And now jurors are hearing closing arguments. And Local 10's Cody Weddle is live with what happened in court today. Cody. So, Louie and Janice, we ended up not seeing that full video in court, just a portion. Today, the, the defense attempted to show through an expert witness that this officer's actions placing his knee on the neck of this woman were within his duties as a law enforcement officer. Of course, the state saying these actions exceeded his duties as an officer and were criminal. She can't punch him in the face. She can't punch the other officer in the face. She can't kick him because he's on her side. She can't kick the other person because he's standing up. What is reasonably necessary about that? Closing arguments for a Miami Gardens police officer facing charges of battery. The state arguing Jordi Yanis Martel exceeded his authority as a police officer during this arrest during January of 2020. He either omitted certain facts that were necessary and important and just misrepresented other facts that are also necessary. <coughs> Yanis Martel also faces charges for official misconduct. The state claiming he attempted to cover up the incident by writing false statements on the arrest report. Semantics do not survive reasonable doubt. But the officer's defense arguing the state has not met the threshold to consider that report criminal. They want you to just like cover your eyes and act like there's no other actions that are involved in this case. That it's all about his actions. But his actions are reactionary to someone else that was involved in this case that you all heard from. Also arguing that Satafia Satchel resisted the arrest and the officer's force, including a taser, was necessary to detain her. So closing arguments just wrapped up. We expect jury deliberation will begin tomorrow. This officer is facing charges of trespassing, battery, and official misconduct. That trespassing charge is for reaching into the vehicle of this woman. The state arguing he did not have the authority to do that. We're live here in Miami. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News. Cody, thank you.